Okay, so today I figured I'd show you how to do vertical text. I think uh, it's one of those things where a lot of people probably don't know how to do it. And of course it would always, you know, it comes in handy a lot to know how to do something like that. Sideways and vertical text. I use uh I use them sometimes for things. Okay. So let's uh start a new layer here. And we'll just type something out. Okay. Now you can just take that and you can take your rotate tool, go right on it, and just rotate that. That's the first way you can do like sideways or vertical text. You can also do a path. You can just do a regular old path thingy. Grab our text again. I made that long enough. I probably did not. Huh? No one. No one how things will go. <laughs> Alright, it worked. Alright, so there we go. Now let's see. You can also open up your text and you can start typing in just like that. But you can come down here and you can change your spacing. Okay? So you can take that into the negatives actually. On the amount of distance in between your letters. You see how close they are? Well, you can actually hit enter and go down to the next level there. And you can even bring your spacing and shorten that on your height. And now you can go here, and you can actually follow a line this way, too. Uh, so just hit enter, go where you want to space your next one out to. And you can actually follow a vertical curve this way. like this. Okay. Yeah. 
So that's another way you can do vertical and it would actually be kind of curved also without doing it on a path. You can just do that out really quick. Okay. Now the last way I'm going to show you here is we're going to be using it, doing it on a path. We'll get our path out. And we'll just make a couple points here. Okay. I'm going to turn the eye on on this one actually. But... And we'll go to our text tool and undo this. We're actually going to go up with it. Probably about 10. And we'll just type out. GIMP core again. And we'll probably stretch that out even further here. So it goes along that path pretty good. Try that. Okay. And we'll do a text along path with that one. Alright. Looks good. And we'll just paint that up. It should be on our new layer, right? What layer are we working on anyway? This one. Okay. Alright. We'll take this and throw it. Throw it out of way. Turn these eyes off on the paths. And we'll go ahead and select none. Alright. So we are on this layer here. Mark this. Mark is just path. Just so I don't get mixed up. In fact, I'm going to take it to the top. Okay. Now let's, let's say you don't want this going sideways and down. Let's say you want it just to be vertical. Okay. Well, you can do that, actually. And you'll take, and you can grab like, your ellipse tool, lip select tool. Grab your lip select tool, and I'll just go with expand from center and fixed ratio. You don't have to do that, but you can select. Make sure you're on the right layer. Make sure you're on this layer, but you can select around. One of the letters here, go to your rotate tool and click in there. Okay? Now you can just drag and bring that to wherever you want. Like that there. Click rotate. And then click on the anchor button. And that anchors it so it's going to be going like this. See that? So we'll just keep doing that. So you get to the all the letters in the space you want. So just follow these down and do an anchor on that one. Go to ellipse. Now, let's say this M and 
and the I were too close, or you wanted to move this M, okay? Go to move. You're on the active layer here, right? Click on that inside that circle, and you go to move. Well, it moves the whole layer, right? So you can't just move one letter. At least not like that. But you can do the rotate. Rotate your letter wherever you want it. But as you see, when we do our rotate, we get a floating selection now. Alright? So, you can now go to your move tool, click inside that there, and now you can move this letter wherever you would like. So if you didn't want it so close to the eye, or you want it closer, or if you just want it wherever you want to move it to, you can now move it to wherever you would like. And then anchor it. And the same with the P. All these. Okay, this is how you can do all of them. So, I'll probably end this because you get the idea, right? Uh, what we're doing here. Rotate. And anchor. And of course, now you can take all these these ones sideways. So you can actually have them. And you made hotkeys for all the these tools that you're using here. Well, let's do this one. Skip that off. <laughs> Does that help things go a little faster here? So yeah, you can just make hotkeys or uh I forget what they call them here. Keyboard shortcuts, I think they're called. You can just make those, and you could be done this in really speedy time then. So you're going to have to go to the anchor and the ellipse tool every time. And your uh, rotate tool, you just have hotkeys for all those. Okay, so there we go. That's how you can do all kinds of different verticals and uh, sideways curves for your text. Hope you found this video helpful. Okay.